There's a natural rhythm to life, and in the science of numbers, it's as simple as addition. Jill's guest today is one of the country's leading numerologists. Jill? Julie, once you've had your numbers down, done, as they call it in the business, I believe, you are bound to become a believer because that's what happened to Gene Simpson. And years and years later, and practice and practice later, plus research, she's written a hot new book. It's called Hot Numbers. We're going to give you a real close-up look at it in a couple of minutes. But thank you so much. It's just terrific to see you again. Yes, we, we were know each other. Together. We we have to tell a little personal story. We don't usually get a chance to do this, but I happened to have the wonderful fortune to go on a cruise off of California last year, and Jean was one of the cruise entertainers, if you would, or oh. seminar people, and she was reading people's numbers, and I had my numbers read, and I was amazed. It's was amazing really, how accurate it is. You've had a lot of fun I've had as a numerologist. Fun, and this has completely changed my life, Jill. I was once a teacher, and I, of course I'm still teaching, but I'm teaching numbers now. And all a person needs to know is the name on your birth certificate. Even if it's a mistake, you still go by the exact name on your birth certificate. Right. If it says Baby Jane Doe, that's you still you use, use that because it, it's tied to your birth date too, isn't right. it? Right. The name on your birth certificate tells what you're like as a person, what your talents are, and your personality number, which is how other people see you. And then by taking your birthday, I can tell a person the lesson in your life, elements of timing, what's happening this year, what happened last year, what's happening this month, and today and tomorrow and next week. First, let me show everybody the book. Here, here we'll get, get you a shot when, when we get a chance. It's called Hot Numbers. And it really, really is easy to use. In fact, the other evening I stayed up until about 2 in the morning figuring up my, um, my birth number and my personal year and my personal month. And uh, it is fun. And you can, it's something that you can incorporate constantly. That's right, because it tells what your lover, what makes your children tick. It tells you what mm -hmm. kind of a parent you are. And if you can understand people, I think it's easier to live in this world. Now, one thing that you do that some people who, who uh, make, make um, well, re do readings and things mm -hmm. like that don't do is that you take a really positive approach. You don't think people need to hear the bad stuff, do you? That's right. I mean, we can just watch the news here at noon mm -hmm. if we want to hear the doom and gloom. So the secret is, is to focus on what you do want in life, and the secret is also to focus on the positive, and that's why I call it hot, because it's only the hot or the positive side of a person's numbers. Now, do people realize how easy it is to do that you really just have to spell it? We can't really show you, but we can tell you that all you right. have to do is write out your name, and then each letter in your name has a, a corresponding number, then you kind of combine those numbers and reduce them, right. and then reduce them until you get your final number. Right. It's so easy. You only have to be able to add from one to nine. That's right. And you keep adding up until you get to a single number. And then the book's divided between man, woman, and children. And it tells what you're mm -hmm. like at home, what kind of a lover you are that's kind of sizzly and mm -hmm. spicy and hot, mm -hmm. and what kind of a boss you are, what you're like at business, etc. It even tells you what kind of a diet you would like. Well, exactly what is numerology, Gene? It kind of gets lumped in with astrology and psychics and things like right, that. But, but what is it? It's really a science. It, it is a science. And this goes back to Pythagoras, who was the father of mathematics. And Pythagoras said that every letter in the universe had a corresponding number according to its place in the alphabet. So if you'll just add up all the numbers and you take the letters in your name, you transpose them into numbers, you keep adding up until you get a single digit from 1 to 9, and then you know your name number. And you can take your birthday, add that up, and you get a number from 1 to 9, and that tells you your lesson in life. And those lessons change. It doesn't stay the same. Once you get one, the thing that's fascinating is that it changes. Everybody's life evolves and changes, and your numbers change. Right. Of course, our name number never changes. Your lesson never changes because your birthday is fixed, but your personal mm -hmm. year does change. Right. Your month changes. Now you figured up our producer's um, birth number, didn't you? Yes, I did. What did I it did. tell you about him? Well, Larry and I have exactly the same numbers, which is very interesting. And he will take a lot of baloney. But when he puts his foot down, that's it. And then he blows up and everybody says, what happened to dear sweet Larry? Well, what was Larry's number? Larry is a name number two. So a name number two. He is a diplomat. We right. might have to discuss that in the newsroom. A peacemaker who is sensitive to the feelings of others as well as his own. Right. So you have to be nice to him or else he cries. 
Oh, <laughs> I, haven't, Secretly. I haven't seen him cry, but uh, really, what else did you find out about him? This year, uh, by adding up his birthday, I found out that Larry's in a number eight year, which is money, power, success, health, diet, and exercise. So he's going to be getting a promotion this year. And you're going to be doing some promotion, too, while you're here in Miami, yes. aren't you? People are going to have a chance to meet you, a chance to look over hot numbers, maybe pick one up and have it autographed, right? Right. You like to talk with people, don't you? I love to. Yeah. So if you'll come to Walden Book, at the Aventura, uh, Mall. Aventura Mall. Let me help you. I'm from here. Three, right? <laughs> One and three o'clock, you'll be at Aventura Mall, Walden Books, and then you'll be at Walden Books at the Galleria in Fort Lauderdale from five to seven. You've got a busy day. You I were do. on the radio this morning, on TV this afternoon, mm -hmm. and Miami is your 15th city. Oh, at least. It? I think it's about the 23rd. Oh, I've been it? on the road now for five weeks. And how's the reception? Fabulous. It's Fab hot. It's hot, just like hot numbers. Thank you, Jean Simpson. So nice to see you again. Thank you, Jill. Julie?